Hello guys, a nice short and simple video for you today. Uh, sorry for not being uh, too often on the uploads, it should be back to usual, just had a bit of like family stuff going on. But uh, yeah, this is the talent for a DPS warrior. We have a separate one over here, I've got these off wowhead.com, you can go check the link in the description if you want to see the actual website, but I'll go over them if you want to see them more in depth and not read all the boring stuff like this, because I have... Um, Whatever you call it, I can't read it, it's really confusing and a lot of people would rather watch a video. So, you want to start off with why you're leveling at least, going with Fury, doing 5 into Crawley, which will increase your critical strike, doing Unbridled Wrath, which basically does nothing, but it's kind of, you need to do this. If you can, one of you can do improve Demoral Demoralizing Shout, probably you're supposed to say it, you do like 2 into this and 3 into this, but it's up to you, you can kind of customize with this. Um, Improved Battle Shout, always go with this. This is 100% amazing, but if you have somebody else in your raid that is meant to do the max Battle Shouts and they also have the AQ 20 bucks, then what you should be doing is doing four into Improved Battle Shout and one into Improved Cleave, due to the fact that the Improved Cleave in fights like the ones in Mortal Core, the one, the one with the big guy with the two little dogs on the side, that one, amazing for Cleave, so you can really like put pass and you can do like the best on, on logs and you can look really cool and everyone can be like wow look at that guy doing max dps and you can you can be like just like me you know you get all the aq 40 gear anyway moving on enrage sorry i just like kicked my desk because i got really angry i'm joking um gives you 25 percent melee damage bonus for 12 seconds uh yeah so you need a okay this is you need enrage to get flurry this one so increases your attack speed completely forgot about these i, I just you never this never seems to proc for me um apparently i'm really unlucky this is super useful though because back in the day this used to proc for me it is really good so when you go to me in rage rate uh, in range uh, no <laughs> execute um phase when you've got flurry and enrage going then this is just amazing you you'll really be going up to like top dps and you're gonna have like the worst gear in the game the next one, what, what the next one you'll be want to use going for is Death Wish. Holy moly, I'm I'm trying bubbles right now. Sorry about this. Um, and then you also want to go for dual wield specialization after that. By the time you got those, you'll have blood fast. Um, you don't need to get blood fast straight away because while leveling, you will probably be going arms anyway. And if not, it doesn't really matter because you're not trying to do top DPS and all this other stuff is a lot more useful than getting blood fast while leveling. Uh, moving on, what you want to be doing is getting rend and <coughs> heroic strike. Now, something that I want to build off this is that um, maybe doing changing a little bit so you can get more in improved heroic strike uh, by taking points out of improved overpower and putting that into heroic strike would be a lot better because going from overpower. Well, so what you would have to do is go from berserker stance to ball stance, which is going to completely reset your rage. Actually, you do have anger management. Um, yeah, you have anger management and stuff. So you would keep 30 rage, but the thing is, by the time you also cast this, like it's just not going to be rage because you're going to get the rage back from your other power, but you're not going to want to cast blood first in battle stance due to the fact there's no crit and you're not going to be able to do like good DPS. You have to switch back to berserker stance. You lose all of it. So overpower is not good when you've got your 7% hit. If you do not have 7% hit, however, and you're parrying all the time, then go with improved other power. But if you're hitting all the time and you've got them them AQ 20 bucks as a warrior, make sure you're going improved heroic strike all the way. This is something I really want to like express. Please do that. It's so much better. And then every time you've got any amount of um, rage, just cast a heroic strike and you'll crit. And you'll probably, I mean, apparently I seem to do this all the time. You'll just crit and you'll get enough rage to then. Uh, cast blood first and then you'll cast blood first because you're hitting and then the offhand with the heroic strike allows it. it's just it works so well it's so confusing but it works well just trust me just cast heroic strike all the time it's amazing it's the most underrated ability you've got and then you can see you've got tactical mastery which is retain 25 of your rage when you change stances this is what i was going about now management it creates time required for your rage to decay while out come up uh, about 30 percent yeah yeah this i was getting these two confused this is effectively kind of like they just build off each other so it's allowing you to keep the rage but you're only going to be using this for overpower and charges so it's not really that amazing so don't get too blown away by this this isn't mandatory but what is mandatory is going from your rent having to max this out and going into deep wounds uh, which increases critical strike chance and then going into impale which just basically does more critical strike chance um hopefully this really helps uh i'll go over the slam spec but this is basically if you're not playing a troll warrior well i don't mean like a troll like a joke warrior but like a troll race then this is what you want to be using and if you're playing a troll you want to be using this and the only thing that is different is you're not going dual wield specialization and you're going improve slam which 
more than likely also means you're going to be going with a two-handed weapon which means it's more like an arms kind of thing and i'm pretty sure there is also an arms spec but we're not going over this because we're not a joke um the this is really good it's kind of like tvc i'm not going to go over it and show like a bunch of just videos on the screen because then this video is going to get way too long we're already at like five minutes it's supposed to be a quick simple video to be honest but it's effectively you would wait for your weapon there's a machine you have a two-handed weapon you hit with a two-handed weapon you instantly cast slam slam hits and then you would cast blood fair uh, blood first then you hit with your melee weapon wait then cast blood first again just before you're going to hit with your melee weapon and then you repeat the whole thing over and over again i'm pretty sure i explained that pretty well it is really confusing but if you want to give this a go on like a hard troll character it's really really fun there are a lot more better videos they're going to tell you how to do this i'll, I'll probably make a video in the future actually because i have a troll warrior i'm just leveling it but this is really fun it works super well so yeah let me know in the comments if this video was useful and please leave it so we're so close to 3,000 subscribers and i'm genuinely going to upload a video where i do 10 back flips in one jump when i reach 3k so yeah make sure make sure you do that because that, that video is going to be so sick uh, i'm not going to do a fairy reveal though i'm going to do it in a full fairy costume so um yeah i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye